long before Marshall, a Roman god of war, and long before the Asian art defense system, the origin of all of that came right here in Kemet. It was called the Montu. The Montu art form was an African defense system, long before a Roman god of war called martial art. Here you see another, another art form even using the sticks and the art form. The one we look at is some kind of a karate chop. And then you see a flip that's taking place right here. So here you see, right, what they call judo. Here you see a flip right here and also another form of the art with the brothers or trying to defeat the other uh, and bring him down. So here you see an African defense system, but I want to show you that this is an African origin that goes as far back as the Nubas. Now, keep in mind that uh, that came from the Nubas, brothers and sisters. It was an African defense system, meaning that in this African defense system, you see the same exact thing right here. Now look at this here form right here, and look at these brothers from Nuba. Look how far back this goes. This is the same type of African defense system that is going on right now with the Nubas that you see with these two brothers right here. The show is an African art form all the way from the Nubas. The Nubas who live in the highlands of the Sudan. Now, also, just as you see these two brothers right here, mixing it up, one trying to flip the other down, and look at the Nuba brothers that you see right here. Okay? So that's why we come back in all forms to show our story so we can document it, not just to... Uh, have it from a European perspective, but have it from our African perspective, our African comedic perspective. So we see the two African defense system right here. Now keep in mind when these brothers, why are they uh, in this form of art right here with the Nubas anyway? They're, they are fighting for something. They are fighting for the woman. And the tiny Hisi Kushai Ethiopians are also received from the art. And these blades or rings are around their hand that they use for fights. But let's Go and see when I was in the Bume village of Ethiopia, here January 6th, we see our brother is wearing the band around his hand to use for fight for the Bume. But his culture, you see him here, it goes all the way back to the Kushite nation. And on the temples of Kemet, you can see the African defense system and see that that culture started with African people and karate and all these things today as you see the flips and so forth and the hands, and also you can see the arrow where we see the stick fighting that he's also using on the temple, but you see it right here on the temples of Egypt over 3,000 years ago. These are books in stone that our ancestors left us, and you see them with the, with the stick figures for the fighting right here. Also, we see uh, go among the Nuba, who their wrestling styles and, and compare their wrestling styles are identical to those who are right there in Kemet. So we, got it. we can see it on the temples of Kemet, and we can see the wrestling styles are identical to what you see in ancient Kemet. As when we went into the village, and the Bume village in southern Ethiopia, the Karo as well, and we can see our brother right here, Kisa, who came with us. He's one of the brothers I selected to come into this region of Ethiopia, and you see him with our brother right here with the ring around his hand, the fence system, and brother Kisa went to fight with him. I said, brother, you can't mess with that, brother. He got a blade on his hand. He went through a quick move, and blood started running all down his arm. <laughs> okay, so it was a quick move, but the brother was just defending himself because Kisa was trying to do something fast on him. But the brother was ready for him. But you can see where his culture is still passed down from the ancient Kushites. As we see the tiny Hisite, <coughs> the tiny Hisi, Kushite soldiers from the land of the Bo, of Taseti. And we see them here because it is here that they excavated Mentahotep's uh, temple and got these soldiers. But notice that they're holding the sticks for battle, right here. So when we go back to Musi land, and we can see the same culture among the Musi, the Donga sticks that they use for fights. They're used, but you see them in the Cairo Museum among the Tanahisi. 